So in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you the easy way to select multiple clips at the same time and then move it around without running into potential issues if you were going to do this manually. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Okay, so before we start, let me show you the manual way that you typically would select multiple clips and then to move them around wherever you want. And so typically what you would do is you would make sure it's on the selection mode and then you would simply drag your mouse over the clips that you want to move. So let's say, for example, I want to move everything here on the right. So as you can tell, everything has been selected. So it's highlighted in red and now you could easily move things around. So that is one way to do that. And that way is what I would feel is the easiest and the one that is most comfortable for most people, especially if they're starting to just use DaVinci Resolve. And that was the way that I learned how to do it. However, if you were to do this manually, then sometimes you could run into issues. Specifically, if you have more complex clips where maybe you might not select everything correctly, or maybe if you did select everything, you know, just the fact that you would move things around with your mouse, or maybe you would click something, there is a good chance that maybe you wouldn't get all the clips that you wanted. And so it all comes down to human error. And then the other thing that you can do is you can do control A, and that selects everything so this really isn't the way that you know i'm talking about here where i'm not selecting everything but it is an option so let me show you the really simple way to do this and in this case what i'm showing you is hey i want to select everything on the right or on the left of where my playhead is at so this is where i find this feature very useful and it's one that is super simple so all you have to do is wherever your playhead is at say for example your playhead's here and you want all the clips after your playhead on the right to be selected, okay? So the easiest way to do that is there is a feature up here on timeline. If you go to timeline right here, you see this thing called select clips backwards and select clips forward. And there's also shortcuts as well. So we're gonna do the select clips forward first. So if you see here, all you have to do is press Y if you're gonna use a shortcut or you could just click on this. And if you want to select all the clips, forward is alt y so let me show you the difference so right now i have my playhead right here and i have this track these two tracks selected they're in red so now if i press y it's going to select everything on the selected tracks as you can see here i have v1 a1 so video one audio one and it selected all those clips right here and now you can simply move them around as you need it to so that's really easy to do but what if you wanted to select all clips on the right of your playhead regardless of which track that you're on well one way you could do is you can select the track that you want so you could do that or select multiple tracks but i feel that the easiest way to select all tracks on the right of it is to use the other option which is the alt y so we'll go alt y and now it's selected all the tracks on the right super easy to do everything's already been selected for you and you're not going to miss anything due to human error because that's what that feature is there for. So similarly, if you wanted to select all the clips behind your playhead, there's something very similar. So we'll go back here, select clip backwards. You can see here, very similar, except here, instead of just Y, it's Control Y. And then if you wanted to select all the clips on the tracks, it's Control Alt Y. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go Control Y. So similar to what we did before, it selected all the clips with the highlighted tracks. And then, if you actually do control alt y it'll select all the clips on all tracks to the left or backwards of your playhead for all your email marketing needs check out aweber the premier service news at geekoutdoors.com get signed up today for free and also get 100 percent free complete account migration for more information check out the affiliate link in the description area below so that's how you do that it is a feature that I did not know existed whenever I started using DaVinci Resolve. And it really saves you a ton of time because the way that I was doing before was this way, you know, and even though it felt really easy and natural to do, whenever your projects become more complex and you have a lot of clips, it just becomes a pain. And once again, it's that whole human error element. So that is it for this tutorial. If you actually had 
Any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this or shortcuts that you use in DaVinci Resolve to improve your workflow, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.